What's up, guys? It's TJ Figs here. I'm not feeling the greatest, um, so don't mind my voice or nothing. But I've had time to film another video. I did film one, and then it couldn't post. Whole lot of crap. But today I'm here doing a two two part AEW video. Uh, I picked some of these up with my Gigi like a week or two ago. Just haven't done anything. I mean, I have like seven figures to unpack. I'm just, I don't know. It's just not, not fun, really. But I got my TikTok back. Um, I've been starting to watch WWE and AEW a little bit. But I think I'm back. I think I'm, I'm going to keep on trying for Christmas. Have fun. We're getting like breaks here and there uh, for Thanksgiving break and Christmas break and whole lot of this. It's finally my favorite month of the year or one of my favorite months. You know, just winter is my favorite. It makes me feel good. But at the same time, there's a lot of colds and stuff. So that's probably what I have right now. But let's get into the point. Today, we are doing Jade Cargill, new member to Raw or SmackDown. WWE, she, she got fired by AEW or she quit AEW. And now she's in WWE, so we will be doing her. Uh, don't mind this, but this is probably going to be my next video. It's uh, group Love and Thunder, um, Marvel Legends, Build-A-Figure group. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, and then we got what I've been looking for for months. Wanted the Amazon 2-pack of him and Hook, but we got him here at Walmart. Dan Allison. Oh my god, I've been wanting a Danhausen forever. Danhausen's so funny. He will curse you like this, like this. I hope we got interchangeable hands in here. But let's get into this. I wonder where the trusty knife is. I'm going to have to find it. But uh, yeah, let's go over this stuff. I'm going to do Jade Cargill first, and then we will do Danhausen. So this is Jade Cargill. This is the front of her packaging. She has a picture of her. She's from the Unmatched set. Um, she's number 28 of the Unmatched set. She's from C Series 4. She came out a while ago. I just haven't picked her up. Like, I've been seeing her at GameStops, Walmarts, Targets, everything. I just didn't have the chance to pick her up. I mean, I'm a broke man. Look at all this stuff. Of course I'm a broke man. But, uh, so I got it with my GG, or I think my dad got me this one, actually. Yeah, my dad got me this one. Uh, shout out to him. He's a gangster. But, um, yeah, it, it was marked down on clearance to, like, $10, $11, and I used my pro membership $5 coupon at GameStop. If you do not have a pro membership at GameStop, it saves you $5 on one purchase each month, dude. And they mark down their figures regularly. I mean, you're just getting the best out of your buck, you know, but, um, yeah, it's AEW, uh, she's now in WWE, though, it's got her autograph on the back, and other people in the set are CM Punk, K-Man, Adam Page, Cody Rhodes, MJF, and Chris Jericho, um, and she was on Dynamite, or no, she was on Rampage in Chicago, Illinois, her, and then that's just the box, and let's get into it, hit the transition, I'm gonna find the freaking trusty knife that we always use so i'll be right back okay so we got jade cargill out of her packaging uh i mean i you just saw the time lapse obviously gosh i look white as crap holy crap what happened let's see let's try to there we go. There we go. We look good. I'm sorry. Can't. All right. It's going to stay like that. I'm sorry. I'm usually not this pale. Apparently, I am now. Um, but, yeah, let's get into this figure and the accessories. Um, she only has two accessories. I would have thought she would have came with, like, a, uh, her TBS championship or something. But she came with um, two punching hands which are very cool. She can smack the crap out of uh, Chris Statlander for stealing her belt. Or Mommy, Rhea Ripley, she can slap the crap out of Mommy and take her belt too. <laughs> but, I'm, of course, I'd root for Mommy in that. Mommy's the best. Uh, but, yes, let's get into this. 
Uh, this is her head scan. She's kind of like calm. She's got the eyebrow up. She's got her makeup on. Her blonde or platinum hair. I think it's, I think that's called like platinum blonde. I think a girl at my school has that. Um, but yeah, uh, she she's pretty, you know, looking good on her face. Um, she has uh, amazing articulation. Her shoulders move amazing. Oh my gosh. Uh, double jointed arms, you know, you can see the pins though, uh, which isn't good, but, um, I mean, hopefully that CM Punk that I've been wanting forever, the CM Punk Supreme Series 4, I've been wanting that forever, maybe I'll get it for Christmas, um, but she comes with, um, it's the same thing on the other side, if you wondered, uh, pins, you know, shoulders move good, um, she has two of the same hands. These are what they, they look like. It's kind of like almost waving. Like, you know how the queen waves like like that? It's almost like that uh, whenever, or a piece of the queen or whatever. Sorry, but uh, I'm getting off the topic. But uh, it's kind of like that. She could like pose with it like, eh, I'm so strong. Oh my God. Look at me. I'm so, my gold. Like, she can do like that. Uh, her, what is this called? Tank top? Uh, uh, her wrestling tank top is gold and black with, like, line, black lines over it. Almost like glass shattering. Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, like, gold and black right there. It's really cool. Same thing on her, uh, bottoms. So, it's really cool. Uh, she has, you know, chest articulation. Good. Six pack and it moves. It's really good uh leg let's see the leg articulation she cannot do the split she can do a half split like that <laughs> that's cool but uh leg articulation is really good i really enjoy the aew leg articulation i just feel like i get more out of that for some reason um because like it moves better except for on that supreme cody Rhodes. my supreme cody Rhodes, the first you know supreme cody um his uh boots don't move it's weird uh, but this is cool. It's her double jointed knees. She, her knee pads are gold and black, just like her, um, shorts and tank top. Uh, they're really good. Double jointed knees, uh, gold and black on her, uh, boots. Foot articulation moves really good. I mean, everything's fine with this figure. I really enjoy it. Um, if only I had a TVS championship to go with it. Uh, this is my second ever Jade Cargill, I think. Let me go check and see if I still have that, uh, the rare one. I do. I have it. Yep. Come with me. My room's a mess. Uh, I gotta get back into this. But as you can see, right there is the one of 3,000 Jade Cargill, which is really sick. I mean, one of 3,000, only 3,000 people in the world own it, and I'm one of them. Uh, but yeah, the room tour will be coming soon. I gotta clean this up a lot. I mean, I mean, it's just the floor. It's kind of messed up, but everything's good, uh, in the room. But yeah, that's Jade Cargill. Uh, we can get into Danhausen in just one moment. Let's see if I can, like, pan it down so I'm not as white. Meh, I'll be white forever, so I, <laughs> um... But yeah, let's get into Danhausen. This is Jade Cargill review. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the Danhausen unboxing. Okay, so I got a little bit closer, so maybe it'll block out a little bit of the light. Um, I got y'all on my ring ropes. But we're about to unbox the Danhausen Unrivaled Series 13. Really cool, brand new. Um, it just came out a few months ago. So yeah, let's review the packaging. Uh, the, the lighting doesn't work anymore. Shoot, let's see if I can bring this down a little bit. There we go. Uh, it, here's Danhausen. It says his name. It's got a picture of the man himself, Danhausen, about to curse you. Uh, he's a part of the Unrivaled Collection, number 118 out of Series 13. Uh, here's a picture of the figure. You know, it looks gangster. All fantastic. AEW gold logo up there. Uh, AEW logo, uh, AEW, Danhausen, and then some numbers and stuff. Uh, and then going to the back, autograph, Danhausen, cursing you. Uh, AEW logo, his name. 
This is from Rampage in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on March 29th, 2022. Um, other people in the set are Sting, Darby Allen, Wardlow, The Butcher, The Blade, and The Bunny. So, um, the only people I really want from that set is Butcher and The Blade is because I don't have their tag team yet. But my EW figures are insane. Like, my, my bucket down here is overflowing. I need to get a new one for AEW. But, yes, let's get into Dan Housen. He is the GOAT. Uh, let's get the transition and get this open. Okay, well, we got the figure open. It's all right. Everything's good. Got a little bit of glare on the screen. I don't know what happened. Uh, but, yeah, let's get into his uh, cursing accessories. And then we will get into Mr. Danhausen, the goat. Uh, so, I am so glad the figure came with these. Cursing hands. He will curse you. He will do it. So, that's what's going to be on the figure in just a minute. Uh, he also came with, like, almost a smiling, kind of scary uh, face painted. He's, like, kind of scared or something. Like, he's about to curse you. And then he, uh, on the figure, let's see it. Uh, this is the head scan right here. Almost the same thing as the other, uh, accessory. Uh, but it still looks gangster. He's like, almost, uh, I know I looked weird right there. But yes, uh, the hair is good. Uh, you can see he painted it ears black. They're right there, I can see them. Uh, but yes, the head moves good. The head is interchangeable same with jade cargill but she didn't come with another head but um maybe i can swap some whenever she does get a wwe figure or something um this is his chest he has his um you know signature like coat on red and black uh these are her hands it's almost like he's playing basketball with these hands you know, like he can dribble the ball or something. Maybe I can get a basketball for an action figure. Have him up on the shelf bouncing the balls. Whoa, pause. Um, double jointed arms. Black sleeves with like um, sort of a red outline on his wrist. As you can see right there, it's kind of like a bracelet almost looking. Same thing. He has the ring on this hand. I think he is married actually. Um, I'm noticing some teeth. He has teeth, like, because you know how whenever he returned it, like, what was it, all out or something, all in? He had uh, the teeth jar. That's cool. Uh, I didn't think they'd put that on there, but that might be on his coat every time he comes out, and I just didn't notice it. It's almost like he has the red necklace on him all the way around the back, um, but uh, torso moves sort of good. I mean... It's definitely not the best torso, but I really enjoy it. Uh, I like the part where he has the coat. I'm just glad that's what he comes out in, and we got it on the figure. I mean, he doesn't wrestle a lot, but whenever he does wrestle, it's always fun to watch. It's funny. I really enjoy whenever he wrestles, but uh, yeah. Uh, on the, the pants, uh, near his crotch region, he has uh, red lines right there. On the, the knees, he has the red outlines, like there's red points and stuff the we'll see the thigh movement that one's good that one had to snap though that one's good also so the thigh movement is good uh double jointed knees see if they're good they are you can see the pins on the arms and the legs same as jade cargill maybe we'll get a supreme and we don't have the pin problem but it's okay uh, the boots have a little bit of yellow i'd paint over that black or something I might do that, but other than that, this is Dan Housen, and we are about to have him curse us. Let's see. Pop those hands in. You can do like this. Pop this hand out, and put the other cursing hand in. I'm glad Dan Housen doesn't curse on live TV, <laughs> but he curses on live TV. You get what I'm saying? He will curse you whoa cursed him he's cursed him off the top rope oh my god but yeah dan housen curses you every time you look at him if you didn't know uh that's like one of his wrestling moves he kind of just curses the audience it's funny he's very uh very evil as my dad would say 
That's why he shows up whenever he comes out. He says, very bad, very evil, or something. But, yes, Dan Housen will curse you. Uh, I love all of you. I will see you soon for, like, Groot and Drax, probably. I have Drax right here, this old Marvel legend. I just haven't uh, opened. It's been there for months. And uh, the new Thor 11 Thunder Groot also. Um, so, yeah, expect more, more videos soon. I'm going to play Fortnite or rest or something. I'm going to take a nap, probably. But other than that, hope y'all all have a good day. Dan Allison says curse you. And this is TJ Figs out.